Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta protect myself from your poopy butt. You're the only one I don't want to shit on me. Hi, everybody. This is Ugly, and that's his poopy butt. Just starting things off right. This is Ugly's last um, bottle here at uh, Gazy Gardens. He doesn't really seem to appreciate the uh, 3,000 square feet of uh, glorious office space. But um, he's going to um, into the foster program, a good one, um, with the help of, and thank you very much, the Fuzzy Pet Foundation. So I, I just want to say, as somebody who's been bottle feeding him and his siblings for, you know, four or five weeks now, thank you because they're going to take responsibility for finding him a great home and making sure he's medically clear and just make sure he's perfect. And I've already warned them that he probably has some mental problems because he's been here for five weeks. You know, the apple doesn't fall far from the crazy. So, um, his uh, foster mother, my wife, Viviana, hot piece of Mexican ass, is going to come get him in about an hour, and she's going to um, take him over there. And it's... I would be lying if I said that I wasn't going to miss him. And uh, I'm not taking him over there because I don't want to be that guy who, uh, how do I say this delicately, cries like a bitch. But 26 is not very fond of him, I'm not going to lie. Um, after all these years of me bringing foster animals home, skunks, raccoons, cats, dogs, fucking rats, you name it, snakes, um, I think he was like, uh, look bitch, I'm eight years old now and I'm really fucking sick of you bringing animals home. It's me time. So yeah, this is the first time I've ever brought babies home and he's not been fond of them. But I just wanted you guys to see how adorable he is and uh, how he made it. And um, spay and neuter your animals. I know I sound like a freaking, you know, SPCA ad, but spay and neuter your animals. Him and his three brothers were thrown in a dumpster, literally in a fucking big green dumpster from some douche who says he's a uh, Christian, whatever. Um, claims that he's a Christian and he was doing the right thing by um, throwing them away instead of them getting, I don't know, raised by their mother and being stray. I do agree with the being stray thing, but um, throwing them in the dumpster to starve to death is not a good way to go. So, um, he's okay, you know, he's okay and he's here and he's present and he's going to be, um, oh, I just got white stuff all over your face. Not that way. That stuff I don't show on camera. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, I just don't do it on camera. Right, little guy? Because you can't talk and tell people what's been happening. So, um, so he's here and he's present, he's alive, he's healthy, and he's going to go to a new home soon, right? A couple weeks you're going to be in a new forever home. They won't be nearly as interesting as me, nor will they take shits in front of you like I do, but, you know, really, it's better than getting eaten by 26, right? Right. Do you need a burp? You need a shit, I know that for sure. I just wanted to tell everybody that I am crazy, I do love my potty humor, but um, I also love these guys, and we have to take care of each other and them, and I truly mean that. I truly do. And again, thank you to Fuzzy Pet Foundation, who's going to take it from here, and I really appreciate it. And he's not normally this dirty, nor does he have poo dripping down his tail like this, but I'm going to wash you in a second, baby. But Ugly wants a good home. If you guys want him specifically, um, Fuzzy Pet Foundation, and uh, ask for Ugly. I'm being serious. Ask for Ugly, and um, and they'll check you out and see if you're a um, a good candidate for being a forever home. He is the most adorable kitten in the world, uh, besides my own cat when he was a kitten. Because I have to say that, or else he's gonna come home and fucking cut me. <laughs> and then um, I've never really been cut by pussy, but that's because pussy already looks cut. Looks like an axe wound. I said it. Um, yeah. So. He's a purr machine. He's a total purr machine. And he just loves to cuddle. And he loves to turn on his side and let you pet his belly. I taught him that. You're welcome. And I almost don't want to end this video, but I have to because it's, you know, it's a kitten and it's not my poop talk or sex talk. Um, and I know that half of you have, have uh, stopped watching by now, but the other half of you who are perverted and have a heart and a soft spot for animals are still watching. So... If you ever come across a, a little animal in need, help out if you can. I'm being serious. I sacrificed the last five weeks of my life, and I don't fucking wake up for anybody. Nobody interrupts my ten hours of sleep. And um, I've been getting up every two hours, three hours, and now four hours. I've been literally splitting my sleep up over the course of the night and day to save their lives. 
because they matter. We all matter, you know, as people, but they matter too. Even though they're not people, they're still animals. They're our friends. They matter. Thank you for listening to me uh, rant and banter on, and thank you for putting your poop on my hand. That was disgusting. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean, no. oh, uh, I love it. I, ooh, ugly shit on me. I love it. I, gosh, that was so hot. I know, right? Now they're going to think I don't like poop, and I really do. Mm. Can you say goodbye to everybody? Hey, ugly, do you want to touch the button? Go on, touch the button.